Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So in today's video, I'm looking at the best CFI trading rates. So uh, essentially what we're gonna be doing is logging into each of these platforms. So we're looking at BlockFi, Celsius, HODL, Nort, Ledin, and Nexo. And we're gonna be doing a swap between a crypto and a stable coin. And we're gonna be seeing uh, which platform is easiest to use. And also more importantly, which uh, gives us the most stable coin at the other end. So what we're gonna be doing is trading 0 0.01 Bitcoin for USDC. Uh, the reason I've chosen these is because all these platforms um, uh, have access basically to both of uh, these um, coins. So everyone um, utilizes a uh, Bitcoin, everybody offers a Bitcoin interest account, but they all also offer USDC. So I'm comparing like for like, rather than transferring sort of like Bitcoin to Tether in one and Bitcoin to USDC in another, just to make it as fair as possible. Uh, we will be taking the price from coin market cap uh, before and after so we'll take the price before we'll go through each of the kind of trades as quickly as possible uh, so that there's not a lot of time difference between them uh, for the Bitcoin price to fluctuate we'll take the Bitcoin price afterwards as well and then we'll take an average price we'll see which of these uh, platforms uh, gives the best rate uh, whether any of them match the rate uh, quoted on coin market cap and also uh, how easy it was to utilize the different platforms so before we start, we'll just take a quick glance at the price of Bitcoin, uh, currently $42,714. And then let's go through each of the platforms. We'll transfer uh, the Bitcoin 0 0.01 Bitcoin very quickly and then try and do them uh, uh, back to back so there's not much of a, a price swing. So um, first of all, let's denominate that in BTC. We want to sell 0 0.01 BTC for uh, USDC. Let me just find USDC here. Okay, and uh, confirm that, confirm the sell. And we'll just go on to the next one very quickly. So we're doing them all as quickly as possible. Uh, so Bitcoin 0 0.01, uh, Bitcoin for, oh, that should be denominated in dollars to USDC. Can I put that down there, 0 0.01? And we immediately see a bit of an issue. They have to do that, 0 0.01. So every platform is slightly different. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually kind of uh, figuring out a lot of these as I go through them. Um, here is 0 0.01 Bitcoin to USDC. Um, market order or not. Final swap rate, so let's do 0, 0.0 on there. Review quote and place the order. And then moving on to Leden 0 0.01 to USDC preview order and submit the trade. And finally, a Nexo 0.01 a Bitcoin to not to Nexo token, want to do this to USDC. Uh, put that back in 0 0.01. preview the exchange and exchange. Now they should all have uh, completed now. So uh, going back to Bitcoin, you can see that's uh, confirmed. Uh, Celsius, that seems to have confirmed now as well. Just check they've all gone. The order was successful in HODL Nort. Uh, Ledin trade was successful. And finally, uh, Nexo successfully uh, received. So let's um, jump quickly uh, back to the Bitcoin price. So we'll refresh this now, uh, 42,733. So it's only varied by about $15 uh, during that kind of process. It's not gonna be a massive uh, amount of um, swing. If the price was going up or down um, very rapidly, then maybe there'd be a little bit more of a difference in prices uh, between these, you know, as each one takes a few seconds. But let's jump uh, now into a graph and have a look at how much we made from each of the different trades. Then looking at the results, um, firstly the price on coin market cap. So we had an average price between um, the price just before we did the swaps to the price just afterwards, an average price of $42,723, which uh, would give us a predicted price for 0.01 Bitcoin of $427.23. And you can see everything was slightly under that. Um, Celsius, the best performer, $426.82. Uh, Hodl Nort, $426.55. Nexo, $424.30. Ledin, $423.63. And BlockFi, $421.77. And that actually equates to a 1.18% difference uh, between the best and the worst between Celsius and BlockFi, which is a substantial amount. And if you were uh, um, 
uh, selling one Bitcoin, so a full Bitcoin into USDC at current kind of rates, that would be approximately about $505 uh, difference between the best and worst platforms. So a substantial um, difference actually. And if you are um, transferring uh, large amounts or selling large amounts, I think it's always uh, probably better to, to withdraw off these platforms, particularly if they have a free um, withdrawal, free monthly withdrawal or something like that. But if you are looking to transfer sort of maybe tens of thousands at a time, probably better to move them off of these kind of platforms and onto something like Binance where you can actually um you know, specify what you, exactly you want to kind of pay for and probably get slightly better rates. But uh, I think to be fair, at the top of the list here, Celsius and Hodl Nort, I think both of those uh, reasonable rates to be kind of quoting. At the bottom, I think BlockFi uh, pretty poor. Ledin, a um, little bit disappointing as well. I have actually seen some spreads on Ledin um, utilizing their B2X um, product in the kind of past where you never seem to get quite as good a rate as kind of quoted in Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko or whatever. And Nexo sort of like somewhere in the middle. So um, you know, I would be happy probably to use for certainly for smaller amounts uh, Celsius and Hoddle Nort would not be particularly happy to use uh, sort of like BlockFi and Lend at the other end as much so um, anyway I hope that's uh, been useful for you a lot of people have been asking for this and I've been promising to do it for a bit so I finally got round to it uh, let me know if you've seen a similar type of results between these kind of platforms um, let me know uh, also about different platforms that you may have uh, utilized yourself uh, the only reason I couldn't do uh, stuff like kind of yield app and some of the others is that I didn't have enough Bitcoin or the Bitcoin was kind of tied up or anything and I couldn't actually do the transfer in those kind of platforms so I'm not saying these are the only platforms you can use and as I mentioned um, before I should have mentioned this at the beginning I didn't use the crypto.com um, app as well they have um, a fully fledged exchange a proper decent kind of exchange um, which is a little bit different to the in-app swap so these are very much kind of like just sort of in-app or on website swaps not a proper exchange um, so anyway uh, hopefully that was useful I hope you're keeping safe and well hopefully I'll see you on the next video um, but until then have a great day bye bye